Hello, my name is Tracy Brabin. I'm the MP for Batley and Spen, and today is World Book Day. And today we're going to read The Day the Self Employed Went on Strike. Who are the self employed? Today, more people than ever before are choosing to work for themselves. Right now, there are almost 5 million self employed people in the UK, almost 15% of our labour force. The self employed work in all kinds of professions across the country. They are our doctors, our strategists, our artists and actors, drivers and couriers, teachers and IT technicians. They are women and men, old and young, and you'll find them in almost every industry. They're so embedded in the fabric of our country that you might find you rely on them a little more than you expect. The headlines today, government and business leaders are bracing themselves as the UK's approximately 5 million self-employed prepare for strike action tomorrow. In a press briefing this afternoon, the Prime Minister said, Bracing themselves? Come on, this is ridiculous. What difference is a few self-employed people striking going to make? Henry, you know I'm self-employed. OK, kids, time for school. Let's go. Beth, don't you need to be getting ready too? No, it's a self-employed strike, remember? I'm staying home today. Come on, kids, we need to hurry. Oh, yeah, the gardener would have been over to cut the lawn today, but of course, he's self-employed too. I'm really sorry, Mr Jenkins, didn't you get the phone message? So many of our support staff are part of the self-employed employed strike today. We've had to close the school. It's been chaos. So Henry quickly drops the kids back at home and then hurries to work. By now, he's running late. Sorry, Mr Jenkins, the lift mechanic is self-employed, you see. Oh, it looks like Henry will have to take the stairs all the way up to his office on the top floor. The computers are all playing up. Our IT contractors are on strike. We have to get something productive done today. Can you bring that meeting forward and go see our client in Sugbridge? Sugbridge, that's miles away and I'm exhausted already. At least I can stop off and get a bite to eat at my favourite sandwich shop before I head over. What? As a franchise, we're closed today in solidarity with the strike. So, Henry sets off for his meeting in Sugbridge, angry and hungry. Sorry, sir, no through route here. Follow the, di the diversion. What? Why? Construction workers left the roadworks unfinished this morning. Part of this self-employed strike, you see, sir. Now, please follow the diversion. Henry turns to his GPS for another route, but it's not good news. He may be in for a bit of a countryside road trip. Urgh. An hour later, progress is slow. Ah, at least the open road until... Oh, why now? Hi, my car's broken down and I urgently need someone to come and get it running again. Sorry, mate, I don't know what to tell you. Almost all of our me mechanics are self-employed and they're off with this strike thing. But I've got to get to that meeting. Hmm, maybe I'll try a cab. There are no cars available today as our drivers are taking part in the strike. Sorry for any inconvenience. Urgh! Looks like I'll just have to start walking. Great. Henry's road trip turns into a rural trek and before long, things take another turn for the worse. Soon, the country road is a mire filled with puddles. Ugh! Slipping in a puddle, Henry takes a tumble and twists his ankle. It's not all bad, though. As the sky starts to clear, Henry limps to a nearby village. A friendly local man points the way to the village surgery. Closed. Sorry for the inconvenience. Our locum GPs are off today as part of the self-employed strike. For emergencies, please contact Sudbridge General. Exhausted, Henry gives up and starts to limp home. But cutting across the fields, Henry sees an open gate and suddenly he hears a rather strange noise. Mmm. What? Who let these out? Who let the gate open? Where are the farmhands? Oh, wait. Let me guess, they're self-employed. While Henry's been trekking across the countryside, things have been a little different for Beth and the kids at home. Everything is quiet in the warm living room except for the low hum of the radio in the background until suddenly they hear a shuffling sound coming towards the door. Henry? So Henry, what difference did the self-employed strike make? 
I'm shattered. Well, at least I can get a takeaway delivered. Um, Henry? No! So, that's the end of our story. The self-employed contribute £255 billion to the economy every year. 84% of freelancers are satisfied with their work. Only 3% of freelancers want to stop working in this way and become an employee. 4.8 million people work for themselves in the UK. If you want more information, please contact Ipsy. Thank you for listening to our wonderful story, The Day the Self-Employed Went on Strike. Happy World Book Day!